Hello, welcome to the tutorial. My name is Paul Noko, the Your Choice Instructor when it comes to learning anything that with regards to no code. Today I want to show you how to use the Google Gemini AI you know API. In this tutorial, you're going to learn about what Gemini AI is, how to use the API, and how you can get started building your own projects. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of you want to build your own AI projects because AI just have a way of helping you automate a whole lot of stuff in your personal life and also you can build SM projects for other people and they can use it. You can put it on the Play Store, you can use it as a source. For example, you can build to-do apps that are more intelligent, you can build calendar apps that are more intelligent, you can build image generator, you can build a whole lot of tools that are way more intelligent than they used to be. So um, first of all, let's just get started talking about the Gemini AI. Gemini AI is a very, very cool AI model that I think that I know is currently a rival to the OpenAI um, model. So OpenAI has super cool model that, um, that, that you can ask questions, you know, you can talk to, you can ask questions, they can give you things like code review, generate images for you, summarize, summarize tests, you know, uh, solve game problems and do so many things for you. But recently, Google just came out with this revolutionary uh, Gemini AI. It can do so many things because um, why for uh, open AI, for, with one prompt, you can do one thing most of the time, but with the new Gemini AI, we just a single prompt you can do so so many things right and you can see some of the variations over here it has the the jama the image gen it has the alpha fold finaki for solving you know video <coughs> video um, for generating videos and it has a whole lot of a whole lot of uh, model that you can really play with like speech to test test the speech model model that help you to solve game problems models that help you to solve board game problems models that just help you to solve competition problems so the whole thing is that it's one of the most intelligent ai model in the world right now so because we're bringing it down to this tutorial i'm just going to show you how to use the api itself so first thing first what you want to do you want to just get started explore more or get started once you get started, it will tell you, hey, I think you should open an account. All you need is your Gmail account and nothing else. So once you open your account, you'll be able to cr create an API key. Once you create an API key uh, for any project, so you just need to choose a project of your choice and you'll be able to create your own API key. But the first time you come here, right the first time you come here you'll be able to generate one api key that is not associated with any project but um if you are creating another api key just like i am doing right now you will need to associate it with the project in your firebase account why because google is thinking that since you're creating an api key it means you want to use it on the project you want to build a mobile application or you want to build some sort of a probably a SaaS application that people can use this api to do stuff in the application and then they can all, always give you feedback Back, right so you you can really find how they charge right now so you can really find how they charge right now like if you go to the settings you can really find um, pricing and all that stuff so I think you should just use it for free try the whole lot for free and see what comes out of it so once you're good once you're good with generating your api key the next thing you want to do is to click on the documentation so getting started documentation is very cool google does not doesn't write the most fancy documentation but at least you can always get exactly what you're looking for so if you're a programming geek you can actually use the maybe the python the web or the nodes tutorial but what i'm interested interested in what i'm interested in is the rest api tutorial so like it says first of all you have to generate your api key which we have done already and then we have some prompts so if you screw down the the document you would see different prompts that you can use but for the sake of this tutorial making it to make it very short i'm going to be using this tutorial this particular prompt <clears throat> So it says that all I have to do is to send a post request to this API with the API key and then also send the test that I need. So this is a story generator. So that's why it's called like the test only input um, API. So I just have to send the test that I want and I will get anything I want back from this particular API. So mostly you could actually use, you can use, actually use this as a story generator, 
right so let's say you're building an application that will enable users to generate story or that will enable users to generate chapters in a book right like chapter one chapter two chapter three that will enable users to create chapters so for me if i was building that the way i would do it i would send a prompt first to generate all the chapters from chapter one to chapter chapter um you know from chapter one to the end then after generating all the chapter from one to the end i would then ask uh, gemini to generate stories or content for each of those chapter and I'd, and also generate the summaries but let's just go ahead and play with this so if you want to do this you can use a tool like postman to check this but since i really play with no code a lot i'm going to be using this flutter flow api i'm going to use this flutter flow api um api kit to do what i intend to do so i'm going to go back to this gemini and i'll copy this right i'll copy this uh the url and i'll come back here and i'll add a add a call so first you can actually use a group call or you can just add an api call so for the sake of you if you're using postman you know so i'll just go straight and add an api call and i'll call it so i'm gonna give it a name first um just gonna call it gemini you know do you know funny i've seen a movie like this and the ai ai had the same name with the ai uh with the google ai it's called gemini also so i'm just gonna post it's just, i'm gonna give it a post that's the method type so if you're using if you're using api we have different methods like the get post delete pull and pack so mostly you always use like the get and the post a whole lot so this time i'm using the post and i'm gonna paste the url in here right and you can see that the url here is expecting our api key right as a variable so the reason why you have the dollar sign API key is because it's telling you, I want you to put it, put this API key for me as a variable. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to come to, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to copy. So content type is application.json right there. Uh, I'm going to pull the header here and I'll come back here again to my get started. And I'm just going to copy everything in between this bracket right everything in between this bracket i'm just going to copy it ctrl c and i'll paste it in my body so i click the body and the type of body is going to be json and i'm just going to paste it then i'll say format right so you follow me right then you remember i asked you to copy your api key so i'm going to go ahead and copy my api key so with my api key and the clipboard i'm going to come back here I'm going to come back here, create a variable, and I'll call this variable API key. And I would say type is string. And I'll come back here to my header. Come back here, right here, right? And I'm just gonna pull like this, API underscore key. Right? That's what I'll do. And for my body, for my body, I'm going to go ahead and create another variable for the message I intend to pass, you know, for the prompt I want to pass into this API request. And I'll come back here and I'm just going to delete this. Right, I'm going to delete this and I'll pass the prompt in here. All right, and I'll say format and that's cool. So. The next one to do to make sure that this ha has been set up correctly, I'm going to create a prompt and I'm going to put my paste my API key in here and then the prompt. I'm in Nigeria, so I'm going to say create a story about 1914 Nigeria. All right, and then I'll just go ahead and test my API call. So I'm getting a method does not allow unregistered colors response which is a failure of my api key so i'm gonna come back here and i'm going to change the i'm gonna come back here and i'm just gonna change this i'm gonna paste the api key directly and see what happens and i'll come back here and i'm not going to include this and i'm going to test the api key so now we have a response. We have the response with a story in the heart of this land brimming with 
you know there's a whole lot and if you are somebody who's using flutterflow for this you can actually go ahead and just save your content and then you can use it all over your application but let's go ahead and see what's wrong what the error is i'm going to go to my variable and see what's happening so this ought to be api underscore key so string string yes so i'll come back here and i come back here and i'm not supposed to paste this api key right here i'm supposed to just have the api key api underscore key as the variable and then it ought to work but let's see okay so it worked so that's a brief introduction of how you use the gemini api you can go ahead and go through the document there's a whole lot of other use cases you find here you would see image generator you would see multi-tongue conversations like you have with the api chatbot with a role and the you know the role and the test you would see a whole lot of other things that you can do with this so go ahead and play with it if you enjoyed this video leave a comment and leave, leave your thoughts in the comment section and if you have questions leave it in the comment section and i'll do well to reply if you're looking forward to building your own ai source feel free to reach out to me in the comment section also or click on the link below and i'll do all to send you a message thank you very much